According to UNESCO, big cities in Europe near the Mediterranean coast, such as Marseille, Istanbul and Alexandria in Egypt, will be hit by a tsunami. One scientific institution is very certain of the calculations and that this will occur in 40 more cities in 21 countries. As of now, it's hard to predict the wave heights. The fact is, when a tsunami reaches 1.5 meters, it'll carry away a car, destroy power lines and flood the first floors of most buildings. A tsunami is the worst of the ocean phenomenon and it comes in different ways and forms. So what wave combination can destroy humanity? The 2004 year Indonesia One English family is heading down to Maikau Beach in Thailand. As they head out for a swim, Tilly Smith, their 10-year-old, with them notices an approaching tsunami and screams at her mother who is going into the water. The mother is clueless but retracts. Turns out it's not so easy to notice that a tsunami is about to hit. UNESCO is making more solid plans to create more information available to make it easier to identify tsunamis and help the general population be better prepared for this hazardous situation whilst dispelling false alarms. But besides tsunamis, there are other deadly ocean phenomena that are even more unpredictable. For example, killer waves can get up to 30 meters in height, meaning their impact is 15 times that of a normal wave. The USS Ramapo is a wave that is 34 meters and could easily submerge Africa's tallest lighthouse, Nosy Alanana Light. One ship was able to sidestep a killer wave and the entire crew survived. In most cases, a ship's hull can't survive the impact of a killer wave and would easily sink. Such a sad fate also awaits the ship that meets square waves. When it comes to square waves, they intersect at right angles, creating a chessboard formation. The winds usually drive the waves in one direction and the sea current drives them in the opposite direction. The square waves are just three meters but have the potential of clamping a sea vessel in a vice from four sides and causing a disaster. But the rarest oceanic phenomenon to this day is the Drofner killer wave. In 1995, amongst many 10-meter waves, there emerged a 27-meter wave in the ocean. Fortunately, this was picked up by the laser wave recorder on the Draufner oil drilling platform and no one was hurt. Scientists could not trace the exact origin of this anomaly. Scientists do their research on tsunamis to be in a better place to predict when tsunamis will happen. Some of these dangerous waves happen suddenly and kill people and there's no one to explain what happened. It's then harder to investigate them since there are no witnesses. Chicolub Crater According to some, 66 million years ago, an asteroid with a diameter of 14 kilometers hit the Earth and caused a shockwave. The wave was about 100 meters deep and destroyed the sediments of the Earth's surface. Remnants of this shockwave have been found by scientists in about 120 rock samples. It's believed that this shockwave caused the dawn of the Ice Age and the extinction of most living organisms. If scientists believe the dinosaurs couldn't survive that, what if such a tsunami happened today? Atacama Desert Archaeologists discovered rocks, pebbles, and other sediments near the Atacama Desert. Upon closer studying, they could see that these were complete buildings that for some reason would be completely tilted upside down by a disaster. They concluded that the reason for this occurrence was an earthquake in what is now Chile about 4,000 years ago. Once the earthquake struck, there was a 20-meter tsunami that would most likely cover the Chilean monumental lighthouse. Scientists argue that this tsunami was caused by the shifting of two tectonic plates, South American Continental Plate and the Nazca Oceanic Plate. The biggest earthquake happened in Chile in 1966 and reached a maximum of 9.5, and a tsunami got to a high of 10 meters. It destroyed several coastal towns and killed 150 people. When the wave reached California, the death toll got to 6,000. Scientists estimate such a disaster will occur in Chile every 3,500 years. As mentioned earlier in the episode, scientists suggest that a tsunami will cover Europe. The cause could be the active volcano Etna, located on the island of Sicily in Italy. The volcano is slowly getting into the Mediterranean Sea and has already erupted twice. Back to the story of Tilly, the little girl tried to warn her parents to try to avoid the inevitable disaster during their vacation in Thailand. Traces of the same tsunami had started elsewhere that day. Earlier, an eyewitness video shot in Sumatra showed how an earthquake lasted 10 minutes and in that time 30 cubic kilometers of water was pushed out from the Indian Ocean and reached shores in Indonesia, Sri Lanka, southern India and Thailand where Tilly's family was vacationing. The wave hit a high of 30 meters. The tsunami claimed 184,000 lives even though Tilly's family escaped by a whisker. 
The would-be tsunami that'll strike Europe can only compare to what happened in Japan, which has experienced several tsunamis in recent years. Japan is a place that is most susceptible to tsunamis and is located in a danger zone where four tectonic plates, Pacific North, American, Eurasian, and the Philippines, coincide. This is referred to as the Ring of Fire, where many volcanic eruptions occur. In 1792, one of them occurred in Mount Unzen for two months. This was accompanied by earthquakes and then a massive 100-meter tsunami when one of the lava domes collapsed into the water. The wave was the size of one of Japan's famous statues, Ushikodo Daibusu. 14,000 people lost their lives. March 1980 On this date in Washington, United States, residents experienced several tremors that were coming from Mount St. Helen, where there was an eruption which was more like an explosion that was almost 200 meters high. The elevation increased by 1.5 meters each day. The explosion expanded to a magnitude of 5.1, and a wave of ice and earth rolled at the speed of 240 kilometers per hour. A lump of rock fell on Spirit Lake. The waves were 250 meters, taller than the Washington capital. Luckily, there were no human settlements in the area. The water combined with mud formed a mud stream. In the end, the catastrophe took the lives of 57 people. These were mostly the people who came to witness the danger and risked their lives. A good number of them were photographers and journalists chasing stories. One in particular, Robert Landsberg, decided to film the whole eruption blow by blow till the last minute. He was willing to sacrifice his life for the story. He filmed, and when he finished, he put the footage inside a protective case safely in his bag and lay on top of it to protect it. He was found buried in ash 17 days later. The footage was safe. It was retrieved and was usable. The next tsunami is closer than we think. After Tilly and her family were able to escape, journalists asked how she noticed that the tsunami was approaching. She explained that she started to hear hissing bubbles in the sea as the dangerous waves approached. She remembered a past geography class where a teacher played on black and white videos of the tsunami in Hawaii in 1946, where the waves did not go back to the sea but rolled further and further inland. This was the same thing she noticed with the waves in the Thailand beach and helped her identify the danger. When it comes to tsunamis, the waves first recede further and further away from the beach as if getting momentum before they come full throttle and hit the land. Animals notice a strangeness in the air and start running away from the direction of the coastline. Fish in aquariums also start to act strangely, making noises, and this can be an early sign to make a run for it. This is, however, not applicable in cases where the tsunami is man-made. Number 3. World War I one Navy SEAL was part of a series of small explosions in the sea to clear coral waves. He noticed how the waves behaved once the explosions were thrown underwater. He wondered what kind of massive wave would be created if a bigger explosion was thrown into the sea. This led to the inception of a classified project between New Zealand and America named Project SEAL. Potentially, it would be an interesting war weapon if it was pursued, but in the end, the project never went forward with the Americans. Number 2. Poseidon Torpedo, 20 to 100 megatons In 2018, in Russia, there were claims that an undersea nuclear weapon was being created with 20 to 100 megatons. It was going by the name Poseidon Torpedo. This was after Ukraine started receiving support from different countries around the world once Russia launched a war against them. This undersea weapon would wipe out the whole of Britain, a big supporter of Ukraine, and the weapon could be detonated off the coast of America. This vessel was supposedly a giant submarine 24 meters long, both a nuclear plant and carrying nuclear weapons, easily hidden underwater approximately 10,000 kilometers away. This way, it would roam the waters in a silent manner, undetectable. The minute it neared its target, it would increase speed to 100 kilometers per hour with a maximum charge of 20 megatons being discharged. And when it exploded, it would cause a tsunami wave that would rise to 500 meters, bigger than the Empire State Building. If launched on America's coast, the wave can travel 500 kilometers and easily reach Washington. There are claims that Russia already has 34 such Poseidons in service with the Northern and Pacific fleets, although there's no evidence of these claims. But in case a tsunami comes your way, you need to take cover, the way Tilly Smith did. She not only saved her family, but also the hundred guests of the hotel they were staying at. Once they noticed danger coming their way, they informed the hotel management and all guests were evacuated. Tilly has since been known as the Angel of the Beach. Number 1. Fukushima Eyewitness Video 
In 2011, when a tsunami hit the Japanese coast of Fukushima, it disabled the power lines to the local nuclear power plant and only took 10 minutes to hit the coast massively. This means that in the event of a tsunami, you only have a very short time to run and find the best strategy to stay alive. First and foremost, get as far away from the shoreline. Better to get away on foot than in the car in most cases, as a car will be easily swept away. Run for the hills or mountains which have a high elevation. Skyscrapers are also not a good idea since tsunamis cause the glass to shatter, and this can also cause more catastrophe. If you're in a building, the best place to take cover is the roof. If you're on the shore and can't escape, find a strong tree and climb up and hold tight. Don't scream to avoid swallowing water and potentially drowning. Model Petra Nemkova climbed a palm tree during a tsunami in the Maldives, and it saved her life as she waited out for eight hours. If you're already at sea, try and climb on top of something that's floating and stay there. The tsunami causes havoc at the shorelines, not so much at sea. 13-year-old Maya climbed what looked like a wooden door at sea and stayed there until everything was calm. Aki Kodata, a young scuba diver, was also safe when he went under until the tsunami passed. In the event of a tsunami, several waves can occur periodically over several hours, so once you reach safety, stay there until the authorities declare it clear and safe to come out. This disaster comes with a lot of trauma for most individuals. It also destabilizes their lives. They have no food, no water, no supplies, and sometimes they become homeless. To prepare for a tsunami and keep your family safe, you need a couple of essential items and a first aid kit. Starting with the essentials, you need snacks, water, clothing, a flashlight, a battery radio, an inflatable pillow, a blanket, a utility knife, and your documents. Place all these in a bag that you'll reach for easily and make a run for it. Tilly became a modern-day hero because of her quick thinking. She's now 22 years old and travels the world teaching about disaster management. That's it for today. If you loved this video, give it a thumbs up.